So it occurred to me, we haven't really made a hiking video in a while. It's a, it's a hot day, but not unreasonably so. I think the real feels like 105 degrees, which considering it's been 110, that's a, I don't even, it feels pretty good out here actually in this partly cloudy day. If you look up, sun's kind of behind the clouds, but you see we're at the Sunny Hill Restoration Area South Track. Okay, and across the street here, we got the plaque shack. You want to get some food and come out here here and hike and then down the road here you got the uh, I don't even know how you pronounce that UMA TILA grocery so uh, if you want to get you a nice cold pop after you're done hiking this would be a good place to come I wanted to show you this uh, I've had this for a while and uh, I you know I just haven't used it that much but I tell you what this is a Coleman I always thought that, you know the Yeti water bottles uh, I mean they do keep your water colder but the thing I like about this Coleman here is that you push this button right here and you can get the water out into a into a glass, which is uh, quite nice. Uh, so I just wanted to show you that. Uh, grass is looking a little long. I'm going to have to be careful of snakes today. Um, don't know how far we'll get. I mean, we might get down in there and it's uh, I'm not really equipped for a, um, a crazy hike. I just was hoping this would just be a nice hike. So let's see how it goes. Not sure how far we're going to get today. Grass is quite deep, but I wanted to show you this is the parking area. Not very intuitive in the uh, when you get here you say this can't be a trail, but you come all the way down to the end here and you go through this gate. Of course, you know, obviously there's cattle in here. And uh, and then the trail goes this way. You see the sign over here? We'll get a shot of the sign here in just a minute. But you can see uh, it's looking kind of deep in here, but we'll go on a ways, see what we run into. I'm more worried now about ticks and fleas and chiggers, you know, in this long grass. Uh, I guess they just haven't uh, mowed it in a while. You'd think the cattle, I'll tell you, that's how fast things are growing, you know. The, the grass is pretty uh, pretty deep when you got them, got them in here eating it all the time. So I'm hoping we can just kind of navigate through here, and maybe when we get up to where the trail goes kind of down into the woods over here. Which I have not done. I don't. I, I don't know that for sure, but we'll find out. So let's get the sign here in just a second. All right. So we're getting the sign. Really should have brought the hiking pants. I usually keep them in the car, but I washed them here recently. Uh, let's just read a little of the sign here. This old farm residence was built in the 1920s by George Elk, the first muck farmer in the air in this area. The original farm covered about 900 acres and was called Starks Ferry Farm. After a succession of owners, this property was purchased by the St. John's River Water Authority, a management district in September 1988. And at that time, Sunny Hill Farms contained nearly 4,000 acres along the historic Oklawa River Channel from County Road 42, which by the way, uh, right over here is County Road 42. And you can see the, the other hiking, Sunny Hill Restoration hiking areas across the road over there. Uh, you actually, you just go down that road right there to get to those hiking areas. I'll let you read the rest on your own. We're right here. We're on this side of 42 and you can see it just kind of goes down. This is the south track. I'm sorry. This is where we've hiked before. I, I'm being stupid here. All right, so let's uh, let's get going now. You can see there's a mark down there on that tree. So we're going to try to get through that without getting too many wood ticks and chiggers and everything. And like I said, this may be a short hike uh, today and, uh, and then we'll come back properly equipped next time. I just wanted to see what it looked like. So we're getting a different look here. It's uh, you can tell there hadn't been any maintenance done on this trail in a while. We'll have to be careful of the the spiders. Probably nobody's hiked this in quite some time. Still a little wet. We've had a couple of dry days here. That's why I thought I'd attempt this today. Um, this is definitely hikeable if it stays like this, even in shorts. Uh, have to keep checking the legs for uh, uh, wood ticks and whatnot. You know, it's uh, like I said, it'd be better in the hiking pants for sure. Uh, so, uh, and of course, I don't have the hikers on either. <laughs> now, the hikers were in the car. I could have put those on, but, you know, I'm an idiot. So, okay, let's uh, let's keep on going here. But, uh, you know, this nice look. It's a nice looking trail. Uh, nice and wide. Um, boy, I tell you, if, if, if it continues like this, we're going to get a good hike in today. This will be really, really nice. I like it. I like it a lot. I love the shade, you know. Uh, a lot of these trails in Sunny Hill, they're just too wide open, and uh, you got no shade. And uh, this one, uh, if it continues in the forest kind of like this, this would be very nice, very nice.
thought I'd show you this so you can see, so you can see how wet it is. It's, uh, it's that time of the year. I just went through a cobweb with my legs. That's where the hiking pants come in. We may turn around yet. I don't know. It's, uh, but I didn't show you how I was equipped. Just heard the thunder and I got the samurai uh, umbrella on my back. And, uh, you know, of course, hiking through that field, <laughs> you got to be careful of the moon pies. So, so uh, it's quite wet here. Let's, uh, like I said, need the hikers, need the hiking pants, but uh, let's just keep going, see what happens. So I thought this was pretty cool. You know, looking around the, the little stream here. Something just moved right there. I can't see if that's a gator or not. So, and then you got this side over here. But it looks like the trail is coming out. There's a mark on that tree. And just kind of going down this road with this, this will be good. This means that I don't need the hiking pants through here. So maybe, uh, maybe this is going to turn out all right. So we'll, uh, we got a, got a long ways to go. But you can see it's, uh, it's kind of opening up. So I did enjoy the shade there for a while. Um, that was nice. Uh, but uh, this is, this is the nature of Sunny Hill. It's wide open areas. Uh, hiking down more or less a road here. Um, I assume I'm on the trail. I, I won't know, I guess, until we get to these trees way up here. And uh, hopefully we'll see another mark. Because if the trail went off this way, I wouldn't know it. So we'll, we'll just continue down this road. If, if for no other reason I can see where I'm putting my feet and don't have to worry about uh, ticks and stuff like that. So, all right. So I was getting kind of thinking I was off trail when I didn't see a mark on the tree. But if you look over here, there's a mark on the post. Now it says keep gate closed, but <laughs> the gate's why I didn't open this gate. So I hope the cattle, they might have a picture of me and think that, uh, you know, I let the cattle out or something. I don't know, but we're going to try to go down here. But if not, you know, if you wanted just to hike, uh, you know, in shorts, because I don't have the hiking pants today. If it gets too crazy going this way, we'll come back and go this way just and go down that road. That'd, that'd be a nice hike right there, just in and of itself. So you could come back here a couple times and hike around. Let's uh, let's give it a try. So well, looky here, they have cut this at some point. Otherwise, the grass would look like this over here. So we just came down that, and uh, I like it. I, I like this trail. Uh, this would be definitely a place just to come back and get some exercise rather than make a video. Um, but yeah, yeah, this is a it's a neat look. I mean, you are back here. <laughs> you want to get off the beaten track. See a bear, <clears throat> maybe run into a gator, uh, maybe a wild hog. Uh, this place to come, you'd, you'd like it here. To get uh, the look and feel of the trail here, let's just do a quick pan panorama. See what I mean? You, you definitely off the grid back here, you know. If you want to get out into the forest or the Florida forest, uh, this is a, this is a nice hike. Very nice. I I like it. Uh, definitely recommend hiking pants. Probably weapon up a little bit, which I'm neither right now because I'm stupid in hell. But uh, you don't have to be as dumb as me. Let's uh, let's keep on going. So this is what I'm talking about. You wouldn't want a face full of that. Let's see how close we can get. Look at that. Look at that. You talk, you talk about me screaming like a little baby. If I got that in my face, you would. I'd be running for a couple of miles. You can see it's getting really muddy back here. We may just turn around and go down that road and come back another time. But I think the trail's getting really, yeah, see, look, it's getting, yeah, I can't hike through that with, without the proper equipment. So we'll just get, maybe we'll get some more video on that road. But I tell you what, it's, uh, if it, when it dries out, it be a great place to come. I mean, uh, I can't wait to do it again. Um, so that's it for this uh, trek down here. I'm glad I got that spider on the video. So now you know why I'm I'm scared, scared of the spiders, man. I just I I, I don't know if those things are poisonous or not. I I, I just have to I look them up sometime, I guess. Uh, with duck duck go, uh, let's get back on that road, get a hike in there, and uh, believe me, I, believe you me, I'm getting my heart rates up. It's hot. I'm sweaty. Uh, good day. It's a good day. You know, you got to get out in the heat if you live here in Florida. 
and you know what is that commercial just do it just do it so uh but yeah with the with uh, boots and proper equipment and uh, hiking pants and everything this would be this is going to be good we'll, we'll be back in the words of arnold i'll be back i wanted to get this on the video Not amazing. It looks like an African safari. This is what this is the contrast you get here in Florida. You know, just came out of the crazy woods back there. We're just continuing on down this road. You know, if you wanted to just come out on a, a non 95 degree day for, after it's been dry for a little while, just hike down this road. It's very pleasant. You know, you're certainly not going to see anybody. <laughs> <laughs> so if you if you like me and you like being out here by yourself, I just can't deal with the craziness of the world. Out here in New York now, there you can't even go in a building unless you you've been stuck, you've been poked. Yeah, that's uh, that goes against the. Uh, I can't remember the the, um, the. After World War II, we said that you'd never force uh, people into medical procedures ever again, and uh, you know we're in a communist Marxist nation now, so it's a. Uh, good to get out here all right well enjoying the hike this is uh this is quite nice i i just like the look of that you can see over here it's uh, pretty grown up on that side of the fence and uh you know civilizations here you got the wires coming across all right let's keep going maybe this road will dive into something else this is that's fun it's fun to, like i've always said it many many times the hike you get is not the one you plan for or expected so that's uh that's just the nature of hiking, especially if you, you're going out and doing what I do, which is new trails all the time. You know, you get there, you... So, hell, I tried to some section to the Florida Trail where the bridges were completely gone. You know, and what are you going to do? Dive into a stream and swim across with the gators? So, you know, I had to turn around there and, and do a different hike. I, hey, by the way, uh, while I'm sitting here chatting away, uh, we got a hike coming up. Hell, we might even go out there today if this turns into... Because I think I'm seeing a gate up here where this might just be coming to an end. Uh, there's a um, campground just up 42 it's the National Forest in the Ocala National Forest. I've been wanting to camp there for quite some for about three years. Never done it, but I, you know, I thought it'd be fairly close to my house. You know, be a nice place to go. But the back in there, there's all these uh, dirt roads, and I bet we could hike around back in there for quite some time. And uh, just, you know. Just take those dirt roads because I can't take the uh, I can't take the uh, Prius Prime back there, and I certainly can't take the motorcycle because the, the deep sand it just goes over on me. I can't control it in that deep sand. But uh, we might hit up there. Well, now we'll just stick with the, we'll go across the street and go down by the river. I know that'll be a nice hike. I'll get a little video there, but you've already seen that on a previous video. But you can see I think we're coming to a gate up here. And that'll be the end of the hike today. So maybe we'll get uh, one more video. Well, maybe sometimes we see wildlife on the way back. If we see something interesting, I'll get that. And then uh, I'll get you one shot of the, the river because I'm not done hiking today. And that'll be nice because that's a nice, safe, uh, easy hike on a road right by the river. Uh, problem is no shade. But like I said, it's kind of partly cloudy today. So I'm not getting cooked. And we'll, we'll hydrate up when I get back to the car. I didn't bring any water with me because I, I figured this is what I was probably going to run into. It was, you know, a short hike here. And, uh, and well, I say short. I mean, it's been a good hike. I, I don't know. We've been a couple miles at least. And so it's been good. I like the one next to this uh, African safari look. I think that's cool. All right. So I was correct. The, the road just came to an end. All right. You could climb over this gate if you wanted to, I suppose. And continue on this way but I yeah I bet you I bet you trespassing at that point so uh I'm not planning on doing that today uh but uh might come back someday all right let's head on back so on my way in I didn't get the other side of the sign and this just shows this trail here so I think we got down to I don't know how far we got this is that road we hiked to I think all the way down to here I don't know Maybe the trail goes behind that road somehow. I, huh. We'll come back uh, with the proper equipment next time. So now I'm going to head down to right here. And we'll just hike down by the river right here. And uh, 
So, you know, it says enjoy horseback riding, primitive camping at designated sites, picnic and wildlife view, and blah, you know, just kind of wanted to get this side. Now, here's the, uh, the contact information. St. John's River Water Management District, 386-329-4404. Uh, and that's uh, floridaswater.com. So, there you go. All right, let's get one more video on the river. Okay, so we've been here before, but I just thought I'd show this at the tail end of this video. There's the bridge across the Ocklawa River on 42. Okay, so you come across that bridge and you make an immediate left to get into this parking lot. And here's the Blue House, and the public parking is all along here. Now, you can go this way on the trail. That'll take you down to the viewing tower. Okay, uh, but we're just, if you go this way, uh, well, I guess they'd be west. Uh, this will get us up by the river, and uh, we'll get a quick video there just to show you what it looks like. And uh, I'm just going to hike along that river for a while to get a, get a hike in today because we had to cut it short at the uh, south parking area over here at the Sunny Hill Restoration Area. So let's get. Oh, by the way, the uh, used to be a place right over here on the river where you could get a beer and some snacks and stuff, but uh, that's closed permanently right now. Uh, they went out of business, so. Um, so yeah, if you're gonna if you're gonna have a beer when you're done, <laughs> there is a country store down the road this way on 42. Prices are pretty doggone high. If you want to just get a snack or a beer or a pop or whatever, but uh, let's let's get going and uh, enjoy the rest of the hiking today. So this will finish off this uh, hiking video. Uh, you know, I given recent events, I've just been having massive amounts of anger. Anyway, uh, I know the Democrats are okay with everything. Um, but you can see it's very beautiful right here along the river. Uh, I just love coming here, you know, it's a, especially look, look in the evening. I mean, isn't that just gorgeous? And the temperature has dropped. It's, it's in the 80s now, so, you know, this is a nice place to come in the evenings uh, or the morning, I guess. But, you know, the, in the morning you'd have all the dew on the grass, uh, so you'd have to wear maybe some boots or something because so you, your feet are going to get all wet. But uh, I just can't think of a prettier view. Something, I mean, you know, if you ever, if you ever feel an anxiety or uh, PTSD or, uh, in my case, uh, tremendous amounts of anger uh, at the idiots that are in charge of this country, you know, you come here and, uh, boy, I tell you, it just, it's, it's spiritual. It's almost spiritual. That's all that I got to say. I mean, it's just an, it's just an uplifting uh, man. I tell you, I, I went from just, oh, you know, waking up just thinking the world's coming to an end and then you come here and you see something like this and uh, it's just beautiful so really all I'm gonna do we might get one more video especially if we see some good wildlife we're just gonna hike down by the river here and enjoy it you know you can see there's all kinds of people here you know you you're gonna get the virus off of these trees you know you got to worry about that it blows in off of them leaves you know the, the COVID is probably over here in the river you know you better worry about that too you know so uh you know, it's a, it's a it's a dangerous place to come. Uh, you know, because you, you know you might. Uh, of course, now on a on a non sarcastic note, I mean, if you did have a heart attack out here and, and no way to communicate, uh, <laughs> you know, it's, it's going to take them a while to come down here and find you and get you. Uh, but from what I understand, they'll send in drones uh, to you. You know, uh, but that, by that time you might be dead. You know, but uh, all right, let's get going. Well, as much as I hate to do it, I'm going to turn back. I thought I'd just get a quick panoramic. You can see the tower across the way over there. That is a beautiful place to to view uh, the Sunny Hill Restoration Area here. I just had a, a boat go by. Remember those days? God, I, I, I miss my water ski. But you can see the reason I'm turning back is the grass is just a little bit deep. Um, if there's a snake hiding down in there, He's going to grab me, you know, so I can't see where I'm putting my feet and I'm not equipped. Uh, now, will they cut this soon? Probably. I mean, we've just had a tremendous amount of rain. Um, so I imagine it's been a while since they've been back in here. Um, you know, if you had snake leggings on or even boots, uh, it's still not a bad hike. You know, I mean, it's not it's not like it's super long. It's not it's not like over here. You know, at least the roads you got the, the tracks here to walk in. But uh it's uh it's been a great day you know i don't know what your day was like but mine was fantastic I mean, anytime you get to come out here 
Plus, uh, you know, I brought the uh, car today, which, uh, you know, that's that's the thing. When you're getting 133 miles to the gallon, you don't mind making a little trip. It's a bit of a drive for me to get here. Um, so, you know, uh, usually that's why I bought that motorcycle. But, uh, so, but I didn't have to ride it today. I figured I'd just bring the car. It's nice having that air conditioning when you're driving along. All right, you guys, peace out and stay free. I hate to do this, but I... I gotta promote a future video. I don't know where this road goes. It goes a long ways. We've hiked quite a ways down at, uh, not today, but on a previous video. So I've had this dream of coming, bringing my mountain bike here and we'll ride this. But uh, I think riding through this deep grass, I, cause I got it out, I got it ready to go. I mean, I was gonna bring it uh, today as a matter of fact, but I wanted to do that other hike. But I think we're gonna have to hold off on that, but that's gonna be a great video. So I hope you guys are, are ready for that one. And uh, we'll, we'll start, we'll, we'll get the parking lot up there to show where I am. And then we'll, we'll probably pick up down there where I left off hiking. And that should be a hell of a day, but I got to wait. I guess what, what I'll do is I'll just kind of start coming out this way occasionally and checking the grass. Like I said, we're going we're gonna to do a future video of the, um, of the Ocala National Forest campground up the road there. Uh, and then hike around those dirt roads, just see what's back in there. That'll be fun. Um, if I could drive the car back in there, I would. Uh, I could bring my wife's uh, SUV, but I don't want to get it trashed. I mean, you're gonna, you're gonna hit mud puddles, and you're gonna get get it all dusty, and then I gotta wash it. And plus, that thing's not made for four wheel, and it's only got uh, two wheel drive. Um, so even though it does have pretty good ground ground clearance, but uh, at least I'll be able to look at those dirt roads, and we'll get a good video there. So you know, we got some real good future stuff coming up. Uh, I depart uh, for Virginia now. It looks like uh, early September. I got to get on the road before Labor Day, or otherwise I got to wait until afterwards, because uh, um, the the uh, 3M film has uh, popped up on the mirrors. Um, so I got to get that fixed before I get on the road. Uh, yeah, you know I've been I've been a slackered man. I just I just can't bring myself to pack that backpack and get everything ready. I got the suitcase packed, you know, so it's, uh, plus, you know, you got the everyday stuff, you know, yesterday I was doing laundry and, uh, sometimes, uh, you, you wake up, you don't feel good, you know, at least I don't, I mean, today, that's why I came out, I felt good, you know, every now and then, my test, uh, that's a beautiful thing, you know, when you wake up and you got it and you think, man, I'm going to conquer the world today, that's when you got to get out and you got to do this, I don't care what the temperature is, if it's 120 degrees, you got to get out here, because some days I wake up and I just feel like crap. Or, uh, you know, I have other problems, and, uh, and then I can't uh, can't go hiking. So, you know, it's, uh, today I woke up, and there's a couple birds going across in the sun, huh? So today, you know, I knew, knew we had to get out and make a hiking video. Hope I didn't make it too long. Peace out again. And I, I swear this, I won't add to the, unless we see some kind of crazy wildlife, uh, that's the end of this video. So thank you for watching if you, if you stuck through to the end.